the sentencing of the father and his partner, Emma Tustin, of uh, Arthur Labinjo Hughes, the little boy who was murdered. Now, Emma Tustin, his father's partner, who's just 32 years old, has been sentenced to 29 years, a minimum term of 29 years, in prison for the murder and cruelty of Arthur. His father, that's uh, on your screens, both of them there now. Uh, Thomas Hughes, 29 years old, has been jailed to a minimum term uh, of uh, 21 years in prison for manslaughter and cruelty of his own son. Let's bring in Sky's Midland correspondent, Lisa Dowd, who's been following this for us at Coventry Crown Court. Uh, uh, Lisa, uh, you've been hearing some utterly horrific testimony. Tell us what's been heard in court today as far as the judge is concerned. And, of course, we, you've also heard from the grandmother today as well. Well, the judge uh, said that this was one of the most distressing and disturbing cases that he had ever had to preside over. Um, there were a lot of tears in court. Um, there were family members who were listening to a victim impact statements from two of Arthur's grandmothers. And I must just say that the defendant, Emma Tustin, had decided not to go to court uh, to uh, hear her sentence. The judge took the court through the catalogue of abuse that had happened to Arthur, calling the behaviour of the defendant spiteful and at times sadistic. He talked about it having been locked down when Arthur and his father had moved in with Emma Tustin uh, in Solihull um, in quite a hurried fashion. Um, it was a relatively new relationship and they all moved in together. Arthur had been happy and healthy and that is where things went downhill. Uh, both defendants beat Arthur. Um, at times he was made to stand alone for up to 14 hours a day in a corner. He was made to sleep on the floor and we heard that Emma Tustin had withheld food and drink from him and on the day of his death had uh, administered a potentially fatal dose of salt to the little boy before inflicting a brain injury which was akin to a high-speed traffic collision in force. That is what the judge said. Um, he said that Hughes had been infatuated with Tustin and it had obliterated his love for Arthur. And he talked about the haunting videos in this case and audio of Arthur that we have seen with him crying out for help, uh, crying out for food, crying out that nobody loved him. And he said that Tustin had wanted Hughes, his father, but not Arthur. And the judge made comment that neither of the defendants had shown any remorse. Now, we heard victim impact statements from Madeleine Halcrow, um, who was talking on behalf of Arthur's natural mother, who was in prison at the time of Arthur's death. And she said that Arthur was her life, her purpose, her reason for living, and he was all the best parts of her. She said he'd been excited to see her in prison, but that as lockdown happened, contact had been dropped with the wider family and Arthur was isolated. And she said he was let down by the person he trusted and should have protected him. She called herself Mummy Bear. She called Arthur Baby Bear. And she said, sleep well, my angel, you are loved. We also heard from Joanne Hughes, um, Arthur's grandmother, on her father's side. She tried to flag up the abuse that Arthur was going through with the authorities, the abuse that her son was part of. And she called Arthur the sunlight of our lives. And she said um, that the Arthur they knew was happy, joyous and exuberant. And she noted the complete lack of remorse from Emma Tustin in this case. And she said that Arthur had been failed by the very authorities who should have ensured the safety of everyone. And Lisa, you mentioned there a catalogue of abuse and you also mentioned how uh, Arthur's family said that he was a happy, healthy child when he moved in with his father and his father's partner, Thomas Hughes and Emma Tustin. Um, there is now a separate investigation into how many chances to stop this from happening have been missed. 
Yes, there will be an independent review of whether more could have been done to help Arthur. And I can take you through um, a timeline of events that we heard in court. Um, on April the 17th, 2020, social workers from Solihull Council uh, visited Arthur at Emma Tustin's home after his paternal grandmother, Joanne Hughes, reported seeing bruises on his back. Social workers say they found faint bruises, but agreed it was a happy household and there was no cause for concern. Now, a week later, Arthur's grandmother sent social services the photos of the bruises taken on the day before their visit, but it was decided, uh, it was decided that everything was fine and no further contact was made with the six-year-old. Now, Arthur's uncle also sent the images of bruising to West Midlands Police, but if officers concluded they had no further role as social services were already involved. And then Arthur suffered an unsurvivable brain injury on June the 16th, 2020, and his life support was switched off the following day. Uh, now, uh, the IOPC, the police watchdog, has looked into how the police handled this case, and they have found nothing to justify disciplinary action, but they have emphasised to West Midlands Police the importance of sharing information. Okay, Lisa, thanks very much indeed. Thank you.